Hi, I'm Fred DeVito with my wife and partner, Elizabeth Halfpap. We are so excited to share a live Core Fusion class with you. With our teaching thousands of classes to thousands of students, we can confidently tell you that there is nothing like the results producing workout of a focused mind-body class. And that is exactly what you get with Lean and Tone. In this program, we will deliver all the toning, strengthening, and body changing methods from our Core Fusion class to give you the same experience as our Exhale students. You will have the benefit of working 50 minutes within our class format. If you have time constraints, you have the option of doing 10 minute segments. We recommend you approach this workout with patience and consistency. You will see changes in your body, long lean thighs, firm round glutes, and flat defined abs. Start today and be swept away with inspiration from our team of teachers in a class that provides levels from basic to advanced and get body transforming results. Upper body tone and stretch. You will need a pair of hand weights, a belt, or a towel. Okay, we're going to warm up. Ready, team? Here we go. Let's start to lift. Now, these first movements, they just help to build heat in the body, lubrication in the joints. What's important is that you listen to my cues, focus on your breathing, and try not to think about anything. Enjoy the workout. You can follow Barber for modifications. We're going to add a twist to the side, elbow to knee. Ready? Let's do that. And side, side. Now try to turn the center of the body from one side to the other. Try to rotate. Last eight. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's come down to the floor for push-up position. It's always best to get your hands on a wood surface or a flat surface. Bring the hands into a triangle. Now, as you bring your knees up, bring the feet wide apart. Abdomen in. Let's go. Down one. Exhale up. Two. Up. Press right through the floor. You can follow Barber for modifications. Down six. Down seven. Now hold the top of your push-up. Bring your feet closer to each other. Now the hands a little wider than the shoulders. Fingers angled in. Eight more, begin. Down one, exhale up. Two, three, four, breathe, five. Down six, two more, seven, up. Hold the top of the eight push-ups. Raise your right leg off the floor. Four more push-ups, down one, up, two, up, three, up, Step down with the right, pause, raise the left, ready? Four more push-ups, one, exhale up, two, and up, three, last one, four, feet to the floor, come to your knees. Sphinx pose. Let's bring the elbows down. Lift the breastbone, take a breath. Wow, all of a sudden, the heat's building in the body. Push-ups are so good for that. Now from here, we're going to come to a forearm plank, so let's come back on the mat. Make two fists, elbows under shoulders, pull the abdomen in. Now raise the knees up off the floor, hold that position. Now notice the line from the shoulder to the hip to the heel. We're going to raise the right leg up for four little lifts. One, two, three, hold the fourth, bring the foot to the floor, take the other leg up, hold it there. Four more little lifts, one, two, three, hold it there. Bring the foot to the floor. Let's drop to the knees. Nice job, Liz. Sit back in child's pose for a moment. Take a breath. Now slowly round up through the back. Swing the legs around to the front. And bring the hands now on the wood behind the mat. Point your thumbs towards your hips. Roll your shoulders back and down. Raise your seat up off the floor. Take your right foot on your left knee. Pause here. Take a breath. Ready? Bend the arms and move. It's one. Extend. Two. Exhale up. Three. Push through the floor. Use all ten fingers. Really engage. Twice more. Seven. Press. Eight. And step down. Change feet. Ready. Let's move. One. Extend. Two. Exhale up. Three. Breathe. Four. Feel good. Five. Press. Six. Two more, seven, up, last one, eight, 
and sit. Okay, let's move on to weight work. We're coming to a standing position. Pick up your weights. Stand with your feet hips width apart and parallel. Soft knees. Hang the weights under the shoulders. Now rotate out, rotate in. Rotate out. As you do the movement, really try to turn the pinky forward, turn the hand back. Get a good rotation through the wrist. So that affects the shoulders. Three more. And in. Out. In. Twice more. Out. And in last time. Rotate out. Now hold them in. Raise the weights shoulder high, slowly. Up, two counts, and then down. Eight times. Exhale on the lift. Inhale on the down. Three. Now resist on the down movement. Four. Don't let gravity take it. Resist. There's five. So that's the negative energy right there. Working in both directions. You got two more. Shoulders down as the arms come up. Last time down for two. Now hold eight little lifts here. One, two. There you go. Three. Keep them up. Come on. Five, six, seven. Now stay there. Bend the elbows in half. Press the weights above the forehead. Here we go. One, down. Exhale. Exhale. Very important to get the elbows straight at the top of that movement. Stretch. Up. Twice more. Seven. Eight. Bring the elbows down by your sides. Turn the palms to face the shoulders. Bicep curls. Begin. Two, three, four. Now pump the front of your arm. Feel good about that. Eight more. One, two, you got three, four, five, six, seven, eight is good. Okay, put your left weight on the floor now. And just take a big step back with your left foot. Turn out the ankle. Bend the front knee. Place the left hand on the right outer thigh. Now raise the right arm up shoulder high. Hold it there. Hold it there. Bring the fist to the shoulder. Begin. Curl. Extend. Eight times. Now that's front of the arm, back of the arm. You're working in both directions. Five, kick back, six, two more, seven, last one, straight arm, eight lifts up. One, two, three, maintain the height of your arm now. Five, six, seven, hold it right there. Eight presses in, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold it there. And then eight bend stretches. Pump it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and release that arm down. Change hands, step back, right foot. Turn out the ankle, bend your front knee, take your hand to your thigh. Now raise the arm up to position, curl to the shoulder, begin. One, kick it, two. Can you feel that elbow really hugging the rib cage here? You see it, keep it in really close to the side body in and out, in and out. Last one, now straight arm lift. Up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold it up. Eight presses in, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now just hold it up, give me eight then stretches, finish. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's good. Okay, bring the weight to the floor. Now for the stretches, some of us will use the belt. Others will lace the fingers. Take the hands behind the back. Lace the fingers if you're able or just hold on to the belt. Roll the shoulders back, raise the arms. See, this helps to stretch the chest muscles from all those push-ups. You need the balance. We're gonna turn the head to the right side. Press the left shoulder down. Come to the center, look to the left side. Press the right shoulder down. Come to the center, and then bring the arms down. Now take the right hand up, turn the palm to face back, bring the hand there to the shoulder blade. Here again, you can use the belt to connect the hands. Left arm, thumb down. Now stand straight up and down and try to get the elbow back above the shoulder. Deep breath, inhale. Ah. Exhale, let's change sides. Repeat that on the other side. Bring your left hand up, bring the hand down. Other hand wraps around, take the belt, and take that elbow back right above the shoulder and breathe. Always breathe when you're stretching to move the energy. Exhale, 
and release. Okay, we'll put our belts on the floor now and try this stretch. Take the right arm up with a bent elbow, hook your left arm under the right, try to wrap the wrist all the way to the forearms, take a good breath of air. As you exhale, roll down, chin to throat. Now you feel what that does between your shoulder blades, stretching those tight muscles. Take a deep breath here, exhale as you lift up. Now try to get the elbows toward the ceiling, press them up, breathe into the stretch. Exhale and back to center. Let's change sides. Take the right arm underneath now. Twine the wrists. Move the hands away from the forehead. Breathe in. Exhale, round down. Inhale. Exhale, lift up. Elbows toward the ceiling. Stretch. Back to the center, arms by your sides. Great job, everybody. Thighs, tone and stretch. You will need a chair and a mat. Okay, let's begin standing arms length away from your chair. Small V position with your feet, heels together. Bend your knees over your toes. Raise your heels up, keeping your heels together and truly press the heels together. We're going to start to move our hips all the way down to the heels on two counts. Ready, begin. Down, one, two and up and up now think posture and alignment right your ears are over your shoulders shoulders over hips lower and up and up inhale down down exhale on the way up use your breathing lower down again follow barbara for modifications lower down down and up and up shoulders open down down up now one more go down down now hold halfway stay right there Mid-range, ready, begin. Down and up. Lower and up. Down and up. Hands very light on your support. Feel the thighs hold you up. Keep going. And up. Lower and up. Down and up. Remember, it's okay to go as low as you can. Down and up. Lower and up. Down. Breathe. Remember, posture. Ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Lower. One more. Down, now hold mid-range. Now we're gonna do tiny little pulses. Begin, lower, lower, lower. Keep that lift out of the abdomen, breathe. This brings your heart rate up as well. Shoulders back. Inhale, exhale evenly. Keep going, down. A few more, hold, roll the shoulders back and down. Last set, all the way down to the heels. Begin, and one, up, two, up three you can do it stay in the form down up even you're just holding the position up high down and up lower and up one more down up and release okay let's hold on to our right foot standing stretch bend your standing leg now tip the pelvis under and feel the hips opening draw the thigh back a little bit more breathe soften your standing leg Hold here. How's that feel, Fred? Oh, boy, I'll tell you. Those last set really get you. Changes those thighs in terms of inches. Heightens your metabolic rate. Okay, let's stretch the other leg. Bend the knees. Tip the pelvis under. Draw the thigh back. Pull the abdomen in. Remember, stretching also sculpts the muscles, right? So stretch, very important, along with your strengthening. And release the foot down. Okay, you're still arm's length away from your chair. Your feet are going to make that small V again. Extend your right leg out on a side diagonal. Drop the shoulders down. Raise your right leg up just about hip height or wherever it goes. We're going to lower and lift the legs eight times. Begin. One. Up. Two. Up. Three. Up. Down. Up. Feel that standing leg strong here. Support. Up. Lower, up, one more, down, hold the up, little pulses up, begin, up, up, doesn't matter how high the leg is, go where your leg can be, up, up, one more, up, now big bend in, extend, bend, extend, feel the length on that extension, reach out, pull up and out of the abdomen, long lean thighs, look at them, they're working, one more, bend, now hold and release down. 
Okay, there's the other leg. Feel that both legs are working. Okay, lift up out of the waist, extend the other leg on a diagonal side. Roll the shoulders back and down. Raise your left leg up, pause, set up, pull in the waist. We're gonna lower and lift the leg. Ready, begin. One, up, two, up, three. Remember, alignment position, ears over shoulders, over hips. Lower, up, and up. Okay, one more. Hold the height, stay right there. Pull up the abdomen, you can do it. Little pulses, eight. One, lift two, up three, up four, up five, up six, up seven, up eight. Now, big bend in, reach out. You hear the effort in my voice, I feel this too. Right, reach out, reach out. Sculpting those thighs, reach out, reach out. One more, hold there, lower the legs down. Now face profile to your chair. Let's work the legs parallel. Inside hand is about arm's length away in front of you on your chair. Feet are hips width apart, bend your knees. How's everyone feeling? Team? We're okay. feeling good, Liz. Keep it going, baby. Raise the heels high. Parallel now, ready? Bend the knees. I feel those thighs. Take the inside leg behind you. Raise the heels up. Now press the shoulders down. Back leg is gonna lower down for eight. Begin. One, up, two, up, three, up, bend, up, lower. Keep the heels high, lower. Exhale, one more. Down, hold, change legs. Try to keep your legs bent. Outside leg goes behind you. Raise your heels high. Other leg we lower, begin. One, up, two, up, three, up, breathe. Four, feel that core support you as well. Down, up, keep a flow, breath, precision. One more, down, hold the bend out. Can you bring that outside leg back to meet the front? Stay low, heels high, outside arm comes beside your ear. Hold, can you get down one more inch? Hold, here's where the change occurs, stay with me. Hold, four counts, you can do it. One, two, I'm there for you, three, four, and release up. Whew, good work, everyone. Let's come down to our mat. We all earned that stretch. Come down. Take the knees wider than your hips. Place the hands behind your hips. Now, as you come up, raise up through the hip flexors. Feel the full length of your quadriceps. Bend your elbows if you'd like to go a little deeper. If you'd like to come all the way down to the elbows, feel free. But again, follow Barbara for modifications. Raise the hips up. Hold here, tip the hips under at the same time. Breathe, perfect balance to that intense strengthening. I know you probably don't wanna come out of this, but we have to have one more stretch. Come on up, bring your right leg in front into a lunge. Make sure your legs are hips width apart. Your front ankle bone is directly underneath your knee. Shift your weight forward off your back kneecap. Now, if that feels fine, great, stay there. Let's add on, bring the back foot in a little closer towards your gluteals. But stay here, breathe. Remember, you want to stretch muscles as opposed to joints, ligaments, and tendons. Okay, reach your front arm around. Try to reach to your back foot. Shift your weight forward. Okay, bring your other hand around. Hold both hands to your feet. Shift your weight off your back kneecap. Breathe again. Hold. Inhale. Exhale. Reshaping through stretching. Precision. Endurance. Bring your front arm up by your ear. Reach up. Add a little more intense to the stretch. Well-earned stretch. Release the hands and the feet down. We have the other leg. Bring the leg back and bring your other leg forward into lunge. Set up that front ankle bone right underneath your knee. Shift your weight forward. If this is enough, stay where you are. Next phase, lift your back foot up. Keep the weight shifting forward off your kneecap. Drop the shoulders. You're sculpting long, lean thighs through strength and stretch. Bring your opposite arm in front. Bring it back to your foot. Hold on, one hand. Shift your weight forward. Hold there, breathe. Relax the shoulders. Next option, if you'd like to bring the other hand up to the back foot, feel free. But keep the weight off your back kneecap. Okay, so you're more in the muscle. 
Bring your front arm up, opposite arm up, reach, lean forward, drop the shoulders. Notice how this gets your metabolic rate up. A little cardio activity in here. Release the arms and the legs down. Bring your front foot back, sitting on your thigh, sitting on your knees, your shins. Sit back on the heels and feel empowered by those new thighs you found. Flat back, round back, tone and stretch. You will need a mat, a belt or a towel, and a wall for support. Okay, now we're going to work on our flat back core exercise. You can follow Barbara for modifications. First and foremost, take a deep breath. Now pull your abdominals in and up as you exhale. Plug your shoulders down and back. Wedge the fingertips into the floor to brace the position, and then start to move your legs. Now, you're going to do some of these on the floor. I'm going to encourage you to get your feet up, but don't be discouraged if your feet won't come up in the beginning. You've got to work up to this. Right now, we're going to try to raise them up and do a set of eight. Here we go. There's one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and drop. Next movement, tap, tap, open. Here we are. It's tap, tap, one. Tap. Now, while the legs are doing that, remember, most importantly, pull in. Keep the shoulders plugging down. Try to raise them up for four. Tap, tap, one. Tap, tap, two. Tap, tap, three. Last time. And down. Bring the feet together. Flex. Right heel. Push out. Out. Now, as the legs are going forward, the abdominals are going in and up. So there's your brace. There's your stability. Plug the shoulders down. Get ready. Try to get the heels up for eight. Press out. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and down. Now bend forward and reset your back. Very important to bring the lower back all the way to the baseboard. Point your feet with turned out legs. Now wedge the finger somewhere between the knee and the foot. Shoulders down, deep breath, exhale, pull in. On the floor, remove, open and close. Now the idea here, if you tighten up tremendously in your abdomen, it's going to give your legs support. Try to get the feet up for eight. We got one and two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Tap, tap, open. Here we go. It's in, in, one. Does this position look familiar? Men's rings, parallel bars, that L seat. Ready? Let's try to get them up in the air now for four. It's tap, tap, one, tap, tap, two, tap, tap, last one. Legs come down, flex the feet, press the heels out. Very cardio, too. You keep this going, you're going to feel heart rate, breathing. Ready? Heels up for eight. Press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and down. Now bend forward again. Walk back as you'll tend to sneak out. Point through your feet, parallel legs. Wedge the fingers. Plug the shoulders. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Lock in and start to open and close. How's it feeling for you, Liz? You feel your center? Absolutely. And legs. Yeah, legs are working, but they shouldn't dominate. Try to get the domination coming from here. Here we go. Legs up. Eight times. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And drop. Tap, tap. Here we go. It's in, in, and open. In, in. Now, how tight can you pull in? Can you feel those inches just reducing around your waist? Uh-huh. It's happening. Open. Now, try to get the legs up. Four of these. Tap, tap, one, tap, tap, two, tap, tap, three, tap, tap, and down. A last set of bicycles, push out. I want you to give it all you have here. I know you're running out of gas. So are we. Ready? Heels up for the last eight. Push one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Complete. Great job, everybody. Okay, let's continue. Hug both knees into the chest. Now feel that's a therapeutic stretch for your back. It's a fetal position, should feel comfortable for you. We're gonna start with a basic stretch here. Step down with your left foot, extend up with your right. Hold onto the calf, roll the shoulders back, pull the abdominal muscles in, and try to breathe without releasing your center. Breathe more up in your lungs. And step down, change to the other side. Hold on to the calf and extend up. 
point through the foot. Try to get the back of the knee straight because when we start to move, it's gonna help with the outer thigh toning. Okay, take both feet down and then hug both knees in. Now with your hands around your calves, extend both of your legs up. Point through your feet, elbows are wide. If this feels a little weird with the balance, just scoot your hips forward a little bit. There you go. Now pull the abdominal muscles in and a slow bend stretch in the knee. Bend, extend, two, extend, three, extend. Now hold your maximum stretch right there. Pull the navel toward the spine, breathe and hold. From here, turn the legs out. Now wedge the fingertips against the floor and get yourself really stable. Pull the abdominal muscles in, then very slowly lower the legs down to an angle. Hold there for eight counts. Now the lower I bring my legs, the more intense this is, so be realistic with yourself. Slowly bring them all the way up to the top and hold on to the calves. I'm gonna try that one more time and add on. Ready? Lower the legs down to that same angle, wedge the fingers into the floor, point through the feet, lock the abdominals in. Now eight slow crosses. Here we go. One open, two, open. You can follow Barbara for modifications. There's five, and six, cross seven, cross eight, bring the feet together, bring them all the way up, hold on to the calves. Okay, you ready for a little more? Same idea, brace that core, pull in, now wedge one hand, wedge the other, let's try a few bicycles, slowly at first. Bring them in. Extend and hold. Two, three, we're gonna do three more of those. It's down, in, extend and hold. Two more like that, slowly lower. Pull them in, straight line and hold. Notice from the hip to the foot, last time. Lower them down, bring them in, extend up and hold. Shall we try it through a little bit quicker? Here we go. Lower down, in, up one four times. It's down, in, up two, and lower. In, exhale, three, one more time, and four, bring them in, hold on to the calves. Keep the turnout in the point. Now let's see if we can challenge ourselves to bring the legs down to the angle, wedge the fingers into the floor, keep the turnout, bring the heels toward the groin. Bring them in slowly, pull in as you extend your legs. Inhale here. Exhale there, bring them in, pull in as the legs go out, in, two, three more times, bring them in, extend, pull in, there's two, extend, one more, three, now just hold there for four counts, turn out point, hold one, hold two, hold three, bring the legs up, and hug the knees into the chest. Now let's take a stretch as a counterbalance. Come on out onto your knees. And we're gonna bring the elbows down to the floor. Just a basic sphinx pose. So this helps to open up the muscles that we just tightened. Roll the shoulders back away from the ears. Breathe. Try to release your hips against the floor. Now we're gonna lie flat. And I'd like you to bend your right knee and reach back with your left hand and see if you can grab a hold of your ankle or foot and then raise that right knee up. So you're getting a nice cross line from the left shoulder to the right leg. And then bring it down, release that foot, chain sides, bend the left knee, sweep the right hand back, grab a hold of the foot, raise the knee up, breathe and hold that stretch. And release it down. Now basic bow, we're gonna bend both knees, reach back with both hands, try to hold on to the foot, the instep area. And as you exhale, lift it up. Lift the breastbone, lift the thighs. Now breathe deeply in the stretch. Supple spine, youthful body. That's what we're here for. And release all the way down. We're gonna sit back in child's pose. Nice work, everyone. Gluteal tone and stretch. You will need a wall for support. Stand arms length away from a wall, extend the arms forward, place them on the wall, palms down. Bend your elbows, you're going to reach your right bent knee up in the air, turn your top leg out, 
Press the shoulders down. We're going to lift the leg up on a diagonal. Ready, begin. One, and up, up, and up. Keep the leg behind your hip. Follow Barbara for modifications. Keep breathing, inhale, exhale. Shoulders level. And now hold right here. Drop the shoulders down. Bring your thigh back just a little bit more. Feel the standing leg work. We're going to press the leg back. Ready, begin. One, back, back. Now feel posture, alignment. Breathe, ears over shoulders. Abdomen is in. Nice, keep pressing back. Few more. Back, two. Now hold right there. Extend the arms and the legs completely straight and you're gonna walk your arms up the wall just a bit. Top leg turns out. Drop the shoulders, soften your standing leg a bit. We're going to lower and lift the leg to the floor. Begin, one, up, down, up, three, and lift, four, up. Keep the leg hip height, up, down, up. Two more, one, up, one more. Now hold the leg right here, soften the shoulders, lift up tiny little lifts, lift up, one, up, up, four, up five, stretch legs long. Hold on eight, turn the top leg into parallel. Stretch the legs long. Now big range again, ready, begin. Down, up, two, and lift. Remember, you're gonna feel that weight-bearing leg. Lower, and up, down, up, lower. Good, one more, down, hold the up, turn the hip to parallel. Ready, little tiny lifts for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try a balance. Take your hands into prayer, center chest, palms together. Hold here. Now extend your left hand down to the floor. Your right hand comes back up to the wall. Turn your top leg out just a bit. We're gonna lift the top leg up small. Eight, begin. Up one, up, up. Now try both hands on the floor. We're gonna come into your standing split. Lift the top leg up as high as you can get it. Let the head drop down. Look toward your front leg. Little tiny lifts begin. One, lift. Straight, straight legs now. Both legs if you can. Six, seven, eight. Now lifting up the standing heel as high as you can get it. Last set of eight. Ready, lift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and lower the legs down side by side. Bend your knees, hands on your thighs. Slowly roll up one vertebra at a time and just roll the shoulders back and down. Remember, you will feel both legs on that. Let's try the other side. Place your hands on the wall in front of you. Palms on the wall, get your brace. Feet are hips width apart. Raise your left leg, bent. Turn the top leg out. Drop the shoulders down. We're gonna lift on the diagonal. Ready, begin. One, and lift. Up, up. Breathe. Lift out, out of that standing leg, even though it's bending. Four more. Up, two, three. One more, hold the up. Press the shoulders down. Bring your leg back a little farther. You'll feel the waist too. We press back. Ready, begin. One, back two, three, four, five. Lift up out of the hips. Breathe. Press. Nice, two more, one. Now hold right here. We're going to extend the arms and the legs straight. Walk your hands up the wall just a little bit. Turn the top leg out. We're gonna do big range of motion. Ready, begin. Down one, up, down, lift, down, and up. Remember, keep your standing leg soft. Lower, and up, down, and up. One more. Hold the up, keep the turn out. Little lift, say, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boy, feel both legs working. Turn the top leg into parallel. Rotate the hip forward. We're gonna lower lift again to the floor. Ready, begin. Lower down, hip height. Lower, exhale up, down, up, lower, up. Breathe, two more, one. Up, now hold right here, keep the leg in parallel. Little lifts up for eight, begin. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Let's try a balance. Bring your hands center chest, just for a moment, palms together. Now bring your right hand down on the floor as your left hand goes up on the wall. Turn your top leg out, drop the shoulders, look at your bottom hand, little tiny lifts up, begin. One, up, again, feeling that standing leg. Both legs, right Fred? Both Act. legs. Hold here, both hands come down to the floor, big standing split. Raise your leg as high as you can get it. Look down at your bottom leg. Lift up eight, begin. One, up, up. Now last set of eight, raise up on the ball of the foot. Look towards your bottom leg, ready, begin. One, up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and lower the legs down. Now just keep the legs bent, place your hands on your thighs, and we come right down to the floor. Okay, turn into the wall, extend your legs straight in front of you, round over your legs, and walk your hips in as closely as you can to the wall, ready for a stretch after that intense strengthening. Okay, let's bend the knees up. Now, you may need to use a band as Barbara's doing the next variation on the stretch. So let's all hold on to our right foot, and then extend your right leg straight. Raise the elbows high and wide, press the shoulders down, and flex from your ankle, right, so you feel the stretch in the calf. Open the elbows, breathe. Feeling the gluteal stretch, feeling the waist stretch, feeling the hamstring stretch. Very important muscle to have flexible for sports. Elbows open. Let's bend the top leg, Place that ankle on the top thigh. Now you may need to modify again. You can follow Fred and Barbara on this modification. Take your right hand, just place it on your right inner thigh. Press the thigh forward and try to sit up as straight as you can. Breathe. Now you're gonna get a little more in that gluteal area. By feeling those high round butts. Inhale, exhale, shoulders level for your alignment. Of course the abdominals are still working. And now gently come out of the stretch, lower the leg down. As first, shimmy your hips back into the wall, and let's try the other leg for the stretch. Hands around your left leg, extend your left leg straight. Open the elbows high and wide, drop the shoulders, breathe. Remember to flex from your ankle so you get this calf stretch. Good, breathe, inhale. Exhale, feel the control of the stretch, the control of the movement. Let's bend the top leg. Take that heel right over the other thigh, or you can modify if you need to. Once again, take your left hand and just press it against your left thigh, and then breathe, lift up. Try to sit as tall as you can. Posture, very important. Alignment, strength. Inhale. Exhale, press the inner thigh forward just a little bit more. And then gently, let's remove the leg, place it on the floor, and enjoy those newly high, round, lifted butts and waist. Pretzel core toner. You will need a mat. We're going to begin with a straight leg pretzel. Take your right leg behind you, extend it straight, rotate the hip forward. Now you can do many modifications here. You can keep the back leg bent or three quarters straight. Please follow Barbara for any modifications as well as Kate. You're going to take your back hand on your back hip, rotate your back hip forward so you feel the opening in the hip and the hip flexor. Place the back hand down on the front foot. Now walk your left hand out to the side just a little bit. You're going to lean away from the leg, so you're leaning slightly away from the back leg. You're going to rotate the back hip forward. Extend your left arm out to the side. Press the shoulders down. You should already feel your waist begin to engage. Lean away from your leg. We're going to lower and lift the arm. Ready? Begin. Lower down. One. And up. Down. And up. Lower. And up. Press the shoulder blades down and together. And lower. Up and down, up, lower, 
and up one more time. Down, now hold me up and lower your hand down. Now we're gonna work with the leg. Take your hand again, rotate your back hip forward, lean away from your front leg slightly, drop the shoulders down, keep hip rotation forward. We're gonna try to lower lift just the leg. Hip forward, ready, begin. Lift one and up, 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 up. Remember to keep the hip rotation forward and lower down. Rotate the back hip forward again. Just sitting here, your waist will work. Okay, do what you can, it's all good. We're gonna try to press the leg back. Ready, begin. Press back, back, back. Keep the leg as straight as you can. Back, 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 and we lower down. Rotate the back hip forward again. We're gonna add on, finish off. Arm goes out to the side again. Press the shoulders down, lean slightly away from the leg that you're going to lift. Last eight we lift. Up, up, up. Rotate the hip forward. Up, one more, and lower down. Okay, bring the back leg around to the front. Bring your hips a little more forward to the front edge of your mat. Feet are hips width apart. We're gonna go into the curl now, more abdominals. Elbows high and wide. Press the shoulders down, roll back one vertebra at a time until you hit the back of the waist. Now again, some of you may be higher off your waist. It's okay. Pull in the waist, drop the shoulders down, raise your elbows high and wide, set up cues. Ready? Pull in the waist, let go of the legs. Palms together, reach the arms long, and just hold here. Again, follow Barbara for modifications. Add your butt muscles as well, tuck under. Try little tiny mini crunches, last rib into the waist, eight. One, curl up, very small, very muscular control. Up, breathe, tiny movements work. Hold on to your legs. Raise your elbows high and wide. Tip the hips under again. Feel the waist. Press down to your mat. Twist to your right leg. Both hands there. Raise your elbows. Start to find the obliques. Let go of the legs. Palms together. Hold there. Breathe. Feel the back stretch. Hold. Feel the abdominal strengthen. Come back to center. Hold on to the outer thighs. Press the waist down again. Drop the shoulders. Let go. Palms together. And tiny little curl up. Up, up, up. Feel the heel building in the spine, the muscles. Hold on to your legs. Raise the elbows high and wide. Tip under. Now you can feel the butt muscles working. Turn to the other side. Elbows open. Drop the shoulders down. We're going to let go again on that side twist. Hold there. Breathe. Breathe. Just get on some great music and you stay here forever. Great for the abdominal wall. Back stretch. Come back to center. Hold on. Now feel the butt muscles work again. Pull in the waist. Elbows high and wide. You're going to raise the legs up. Place your right ankle over your left. Raise your elbows high and wide. Now look down at your abdominal wall. Reset. Regroup. Shoulder blades off. Elbows high wide. Let go of the legs. Hold here. Press the shoulder blades down. Try little crunches up again. Ready? Up. Up, up, very small. Feel that core center. Hold on to your legs. Curl up again. Drop the shoulders down. Set up cues. So important. Twist to your right leg. Hold on. Raise your elbows high and wide. Press your shoulder blades down. Okay, we're going to let go again. Ready? Let go. Hold. Breathe. Curl up one more inch. Come back center. Hold on. Drop the shoulders again. Twist to the other side. Hold on, raise your elbows high and wide, press down the shoulders, let go. Hold wherever you are is great. Just work in your own realm. Come back to center, hold on, press the waist down. Okay, we're gonna try eight more crunches. Ready, let go, and reach up, curl up, 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 up. One more, hold on to your legs, uncross the ankles, come all the way up. Okay, we have the pretzel the other side. Ready? Here we go. Left leg goes behind you. Back leg, make sure that it's on a diagonal behind you and you want to rotate the hip forward so you open up the hips. Feel that openness there. Take your left hand on your right ankle. Walk your right hand out to the side. Now walk away from your left leg. You want to lean slightly side. Rotate the hip forward. Keep the back leg still. Raising up your right arm. Reach up. 
hold. Now we're just gonna move the arms, just sitting here, it works. Lower and up, down and up, lower. Feel the shoulders press down and up and lower and up. Remember to breathe. One more. Down, now hold the up, stay right here. Rotate the back hip inward again, lower the hand down. We're just gonna try to lift the back leg up on a diagonal. Ready, begin. Up, up, up three, up four, up five. Keep the hip rotated forward. Up one more, up and release down. Rotate the back hip forward again. Drop the shoulders down, walk your hand out a little bit more to the side. Okay, we're gonna try to press back. Ready, begin. Back one, and back, and back. Shoulders level as much as you can. Breathe, breathe. Feel that waist change. One more, lower the leg down. Last set of it, extend the arm back out to the side. Whoa, here's the finishing touch. Hip forward, drop the shoulders down. Ready, raise the back leg up, eight, begin. Up, one, this is it, you can do it. Stay with it now, up, up, and up. Keep the hips forward, one more, and lower the legs down. Let's get a little more back of the waist. Bring legs around to the front again. One more time in that curl, loving the curl. Roll back down, waist down. Elbows high and wide. Raise both legs up and you're gonna bring your left leg up on top this time. Raise the elbows high and wide. Look down at that front core, right? The whole abdominal wall. Press the waist down, let go of your legs. Palms together, hold there. Okay, mini little curl up. Here we go, eight, one. Up, up, up. Exhale up, breathe. Stretch the arms long, keep breathing. One more, hold on to your legs, raise your elbows high and wide. Twist to your left leg, hold on to your left leg, raise the elbows high, come up one more vertebra, press the shoulders down. Let go of the legs, hold eight, reach those arms, breathe. Come back to center, hold on to your legs, curl up again that one vertebra, twist to the other side, raise your elbows high and wide, press the shoulder blades down and together. Okay, let go eight. Hold there, or whatever you can do, it's all good. Inhale, come back center, curl up one more inch now, here it is, stay with me. We only have eight seconds to crunch up, let go. Palms together, all together, one. Up, 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 up. Reach the arms, one more, hold the up, hold on to your legs, uncross your ankles, slowly off. Come out of that curl. Okay, bring your right leg in front. Left leg goes back. You're gonna swoop your left arm forward, up and back. Look at your back arm. Now stretching the muscles we just found. Your waist, your abdomen, your hips. Breathe. And then bring the arm forward. Bow over your front leg. Open the arms. Walk your front arm out a little bit more and feel that stretch on the left side of your waist. Surrender to the stretch. A well-earned stretch, you've earned it. Come up and let's bring the other leg around to the front. Now take your right arm, reach it forward, up and back, and then look over your back shoulder, ah. Opening up the hips, let the abdominals open up as well. Balance, strength to stretch. Core strength, back stabilization, healthy spine, healthy back. Come down, reach over your front leg. Now reach the arms forward, especially the front arm. Reach that arm out a little bit farther and let the head drop down. Slowly roll back up and just bring your back leg around to meet the front, just sitting cross-legged. Fantastic job. Be proud of what you just accomplished for your waist and your core. This is our cool down stretch. We're going to start with some back of the leg stretches. I'll be modifying by using blocks. Let's take our right foot forward, Liz. Now, as soon as you extend the back of the leg, you're stretching the hamstring, which is this large muscle group back here, and also your calf. Your foot is flexed. Take a good deep breath. As you exhale, drop the shoulders and get a sense of surrendering so that your muscles have a chance to open up. Liz is gonna slide forward now into more of an advanced stretch for some of you. I'm just gonna hold here and I feel this. 
Maybe I bring my chest a little closer to my thigh. Inhale deeply. Every time you exhale, release tension so your body has a chance to open up. Let's draw the leg back. And switch to the other side. It's a good idea to try to hold the stretch just for about 30 seconds. But what's most important is that when you're in the stretch, you're surrendering. You're not tensing up, you're not competing. You're surrendering. Take a deep breath. And exhale. And then Liz will slide forward to a more advanced stretch. So notice not just the back of the leg stretching, but when you're doing the more advanced version, even the hip flexor begins to stretch. Keeping this muscle group flexible is really healthy for your lower back. So I want you to enjoy that and understand that it's not just aesthetic, but it's very therapeutic as well. Breathe in. And as you exhale, draw the leg back. And let's take the legs behind us. Now we're going to move over to the wall to do a really great stretch with our legs up the wall. So let's move in. And I want you to come in with your seat muscles really close to the baseboard. And then just bring the legs straight up the wall. Now this is really therapeutic. Just to hang there for a little bit and allow the blood to drain down. Really healthy for the circulation of the legs. Breathe. Feel the extension up through the back of the legs. So it's a passive stretch, but it is a stretch. Now from here, I'd like you to take your right ankle and cross it over your left thigh. So this is a hip opener. You can use the right hand to gently press the knee forward. Breathe deeply, inhale. As you exhale, let tension out of the body. Stay focused on that. Focused on the breath, inhale. Completely vent when you exhale. And release this side. Let's bring the right leg back up the wall. And now change and cross your left over your right. Notice I'm flexing both feet. That helps to elongate the calves. I'm going to take my left hand and press gently against the knee. And when you do that, the reaction should be in the hip. You never want to feel discomfort in the knee. Breathe, inhale. Exhale, go deeper into the stretch by finding concentration and stillness. Inhale. And exhale. And we'll release this stretch up the wall again. Now let's bend both knees and bring the soles of the feet together. And the height of the legs up the wall really depends on the opening of your hips, so don't force it. Keep it in a comfortable realm. Take the hands on the inside part of the thigh and gently press the legs forward to open the hips. Find a rock a little bit from one side to the other. Just sort of settle into a comfortable, effective position. Deep breath, inhale. Ah, exhale. It's the breath that moves the energy through the stretch, so I want you to stay focused on that. Deep breath, inhale. Tension out, energy moving as you exhale. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Now hands on the outer part of the knees as you bring your legs close together and extend the legs out on the wall now in a straddle stretch position, which is aided by the wall. So notice Liz and I have different angles with our legs related to our flexibility. You put your legs where they feel best for you. You do want to feel inner thigh stretch. That's the primary goal here. Breathe in. And breathe out. Notice as you're stretching how the bones start to get heavier and your body begins to sink into the earth. That's a real positive result of the stretching. Positive experience. 
Another deep breath, inhale. And exhale. You might even find as you hold the position that your legs might drop a little lower. That's progress. But it's not forced. It's organic. One last breath here. And then draw the knees in towards the chest. Let's drop our knees toward the left side and come up. And we'll use the wall for one more stretch. We're going to face in. Now take the legs into an open straddle with your heels on the baseboard. Hands behind you. Slide forward as much as you can. Great. Now just hold there. Prop up the back so you have ears over shoulders over hips. Settle in. Allow the weight of the hips to sink down. Now raise your left arm up. Inhale. Side bend toward the right. Exhale and open up your left waist. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, lift all the way up. Change sides, raise the right arm. Exhale down. And come back into the center. Now let's just pull back off the wall. Bring the legs together. That's our cool down stretch. Hope you enjoyed it.